Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Here's prayer bring to you from the world of medicine. Commonly used antibiotics associated with increased complications, JAMA study. According to a study published in the journal JAMA Internal Medicine, in patients with sepsis, the use of a combination of vancomycin and piperacillin tazobactam is associated with increased mortality risk compared with a combination of vancomycin and cefepine. Piperacillin tazobactam is a broad-spectrum antibiotic that is commonly administered for sepsis, a life-threatening complication from infection. In its absence, clinicians commonly use another antibiotic, cefepine, which has similar activity against common sepsis pathogens, but unlike piperacillin tazobactam, has minimal effects on anaerobic gut bacteria. In health, the gut microbiome is largely populated by anaerobic bacteria that rarely cause disease. Prior research has revealed that even a single dose of piperacillin tazobactam kills most of these anaerobic gut bacteria which play important role in the body's metabolism, immunity and prevention of infections. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Does obesity and metabolic syndrome affect a women's risk of breast cancer? Study sheds light. In the Women's Health Initiative randomized trial, adopting a low-fat diet was found to decrease breast cancer mortality, particularly among women with multiple metabolic syndrome components such as obesity, high blood pressure, elevated blood sugar, and abnormal cholesterol levels. The analysis published in Journal Cancer indicated that metabolic syndrome and obesity each have different associations with breast cancer subtypes and mortality risk. Obesity is a prevalent health concern among women worldwide, with its incidence steadily rising in recent years. Alongside its association with various metabolic disorders, including type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease, obesity has also been closely linked to an increased risk of cancer. In particular, obese women face a heightened likelihood of developing breast cancer, among other malignancies, due to the complex interplay of hormonal imbalances, chronic inflammation and metabolic dysregulation associated with excess adiposity. Study finds semaglutide's effect on long-term weight loss in individuals with obesity. Two studies presented at the European Congress on Obesity investigated the long-term effects of semaglutide on weight loss and explored the relationship between cardiovascular benefits and initial weight or extent of weight loss. Semaglutide, a GLP-1 medication typically prescribed for adults with type 2 diabetes, is also approved for weight management in individuals with obesity or overweight who have at least one comorbidity. This medication class mimics the action of body's natural natural increditing hormone, aiding in post-meal blood sugar regulation. By modulating these hormone levels, semaglutide can induce a feeling of fullness, thereby reducing daily calorie consumption. In the select trial spanning from October 2018 to June 2023, 17,604 adults aged 45 or older from 41 countries were given semaglutide, that is 2.4 mg, or placebo for an average of 40 months. They had overweight or obesity but no diabetes and a history of cardiovascular events. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.